Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding in this video we will discuss about how to represent a push down automata it consists of seven tuples the tuples are q sigma q not f delta z and tau okay so q can be used to represent set of states it is used to represents the set of states in the push down automata and you have sigma is used to represent input alphabets we, with the help of input alphabets only we can able to generate a long ways and we have let me write it is input alphabets and you have q not which is a initial state if you see that in finite automata also we will have initial state and only one initial state is possible even in the push down automata also we will have only single initial state and f is set of final states meaning is that you can have more than one final state also and you have a transition function you will have a transition function i will discuss about the transition function let me discuss about the z z is for bottom of the stack is used to represent bottom of the stack or initial symbol of the stack it is bottom of the stack or initial symbol of the stack and you have a tau is used for st represent stack symbols okay as we said we have seven tuples one is set of states input alphabets will be there initial state will be there set of final states will be there and you have a transition function you have the bottom of the stack or initial symbol of the stack and you have stack symbols now we will discuss about what is the transition function if you see the finite automata and the dfa nfa you have a transition function similarly here also we have a transition function we will discuss about it how the transition function of the push down automata looks you have a state on looking at the input alphabet and the stack symbol tau is it clear you are in a some state and you are looking at an input alphabet and the stack symbol you are able to go to a state and write something or modify the stack symbol is it clear this is nothing but i am modifying the stack symbol okay i am in the state q i am taking an input alphabet and seeing the stack symbol which is there in the stack i am going to one state and i am modifying whether i am modifying or pushing whatever it is we will say the tau star meaning is that i am modifying the stack symbol if i am doing it like this then i will call it as a deterministic push down automata is it clear we have deterministic finite automata similarly we have deterministic push down automata meaning is that from a state q any state in the q on taking the any alphabet on seeing the stack symbol i am going to any one of the state and modifying the stack symbol whereas if it is a non deterministic push down automata you will go to two power q states means power set of that state and in each state you can modify so this is the non deterministic push down automata is it clear so the difference between deterministic and push down automata and non deterministic push down automata same way in deterministic finite automata and non deterministic finite automata what is the difference in a deterministic finite automata from a state on taking an alphabet you can go to one state whereas non deterministic finite automata from a state by taking an alphabet you can go to more than one state or you can go to one state or you can no need to go any state so that's why from a q on sigma on taking a tau you can go to the power set of that state meaning is that you can go to zero number of states or more than one state and modify the content so this is the difference between deterministic push down automata and non deterministic push down automata 
if you see that finite automata we have discussed about dfa nfa and epsilon nfa am i right or wrong and even we have said that all these automatas are equivalent in power meaning is that for a given long ways if i can construct a dfa i can construct a nfa and i can construct a epsilon nfa is it clear whereas non deterministic push down automata is more powerful as compared to the deterministic push down automata meaning is that non deterministic push down automata can model more number of long ways as compared to the deterministic push down automata in this coming videos we will discuss what kind of long ways we cannot able to model by using a deterministic push down automata can we model by using a non deterministic push down automata so all these things we will discuss i request you to note down this point this is very very important point for gate exams especially ugc net exams and even for the interviews they will ask what is the power between non deterministic push down automata and deterministic push down automata you should be in a position to say that non deterministic push down automata is more powerful as compared to the deterministic push down automata okay now we will discuss about the basic operations in the push down automata the basic operations in the push down automata can be classified as push pop and third one is skip okay the basic operations in the push down automata is push pop and skip what is meant by push by looking at some symbol you are inserting inside to the stack inserting into the stack means you are pushing into the stack popping means if you are having element which is there in the stack if you want to delete then you will use the pop operation now skip means you don't want to perform anything i will discuss with an examples each one so, so that you will understand in a better way let's take that i am in some state q and looking the input alphabet and stack symbol i can go to a state and i can modify it am i right or wrong this is the representation of a transition function in deterministic push down automata now we will see we have a stack and we have a z which is the bottom of the stack okay now if i write like q okay on any alphabet let's take that q not i mean state q not i am looking at an input alphabet a and bottom of the stack symbol is z now the stack symbol is z only okay now by looking it if i go to a state called q1 some state i mean some state i'm looking at some input alphabet and stack symbol i am going to some state and mod if r and then i am doing it as a z not meaning is that i want to push this alphabet a then we will call it as a push operation please remember again let me discuss again i am in state q not i am looking at an input alphabet from the tape as a and stack symbol i have looked at as z and i am going to some state q1 and i want to push this a into the stack is it clear in a stack either we can push the elements or we can pop the elements if i want to push this a then i will represent as a z not meaning a z not or a z whatever it is because it is z the bottom of the stack is z so a z meaning is that i am pushing this a so this operation we will call it as a push operation in the push down automata now similarly if i want to pop it how i can represent i am in state q1 i am looking the alphabet some b some alphabet i am looking and the bottom of means the stack symbol is a see please remember one thing this three i have said that it is one of the state in the push down automata it is an input alphabet and it is a stack alphabet so i am in a state q1 i am looking at an input alphabet b and stack symbol i am looking it as a means top of the stack is right now is a then i am going to a state q1 and i want to pop this a okay then i will write epsilon 
or q1 or let me go to q2 any state i want to go to so q1 on b on a i am going to state q2 and i have written epsilon meaning is that whatever the stack symbol is there in the top let's take that in this case a is there in the top of the stack i want to pop it so this operation we will call it as a pop operation in the push down automata okay now then we will discuss about the skip operation let's take that my bottom of the stack symbol is z i have a i have a b let's take that like this it is there i am in state some q2 i am looking at input alphabet b some input alphabet b i am looking at and the stack symbol right now is b i am looking okay then i am going to a state called q3 if i keep it as b only means i am not modifying the content which is there in the stack here i am modifying the content meaning is that i am inserting the one content here i am deleting one element from the stack here i don't want to modify anything meaning is that already in the stack the top symbol is b i am just keeping like that only i am not modifying anything but what is the meaning of skip from a state i am going to another state is it clear it can be another state or any transition so are you able to understand from q2 on input alphabet b on stack symbol b you are going to some state and keeping the same stack symbol that kind of operation we will call it as a skip operation these three operations like push pop and skip will be useful for us when we are constructing the push down automata i hope you have understood how i have represented a push down automata and what are the basic operations in the push down automata and then what is the difference between non deterministic push down automata and push down automata and which is more powerful among them also i hope you have understood all these concepts if you have any doubts feel free to ask the doubts i will clear the doubts within less than 24 hours thank you so much for watching my video